Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the 2021 F-150 Raptor. Now, to begin, where do I even begin with this really? Um, I guess where I could start off is Ford really nailed this one, even though it still has the same twin turbo EcoBoost V6, it still has that off-road capability while also being practical. I mean, I, I like that, but as a car guy, I prefer a big, loud V8 like the first-gen Raptor has. And now, what Ford, obviously Ford's competition with the Raptor is the TRX, the Ram TRX, which has a 6.2 supercharged V8 Hellcat engine. And so, that has performance, but also has off-road capability. But Ford had didn't have a solution for the 2021 model, but they had a solution for the 2022, the Raptor R. The Raptor R has the, has a, supposedly is gonna have a 5.2 supercharged V8, or the Tremor engine from the GT500, which pushes out a grand total of 760 horsepower. That's brutally insane for a truck. But I mean, <laughs> Ford, they really nailed the design with, especially how I'm not, I wasn't the biggest fan when the design came out of the base F-150 with the, uh, like the more curved look. I like the more box look that they had. And that's just with all trucks. I'm, that's what I'm used to. I like, cause I, I like the seventies trucks, how they're box, they, but they also have some curved lines. They're just, they have the box front end almost. Some people don't like that. I do, but that doesn't matter, but they did well with the lights. So they have the uh, square uh, actual main light, and then they have the uh, curved daytime running light, which they integrated well with the Raptor. As the third gen Raptor, I really, I really didn't know what to expect because the second gen Raptor really was really, really good besides its lack of power from the twin turbo EcoBoost engine, which only pushes out 450 horsepower. But I'm pretty sure since it's using the same engine for the first year model, or actually the main model, um, besides the R edition, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna push out between 450 and 500 horsepower. I'm not expecting anything more than that. Um, but, the good thing is about still keeping this EcoBoost engine is that it's still reliable. Unlike the Ram TRX that just has the Hellcat, which I love, no doubt. Gas mileage is a pain though because gas is gonna is getting up to almost four dollars a gallon now. Um, and so, you know, with the TRX you're only averaging out about nine miles to the gallon if you're lucky. With this, you're so again, between 20 to 30, I believe. I'm not, I can't remember the gas mileage on the uh, second gen Raptor. But overall, this truck's amazing. I mean, it's perfect. It's daily drivable, and it's still off-road capable. It has even more than it did for the second generation. And it still has the 10-speed uh, automatic trans, which that trans is such a strong trans. It's, it's, it's better than the manual. In the Mustang, which is insane, and I'm a car guy, and I prefer the manual in general, but the automatic is just perfect. So compare that with the uh, V6, you're looking at a good truck. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm really excited to see what they do for 2022, the Raptor R, um, what they're going to do with it, see if it's going to be, you know, maybe... If it's going to have the 5.2 supercharged V8 from the GT500, if it's going to have something different, I'm not sure. Um, but overall, I really like this truck. Ford, you knocked it out of the park besides your lack, except for the lack of power. But it makes sense for fuel economy and whatnot. Uh, it makes sense to keep the EcoBoost for daily drivability and not getting 7 miles to the gallon if you're lucky, even though... The supercharger coming out of a big Raptor like this is going to sound great. I'm excited. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.